you have already seen some functions. For example, this is a function, the function main indicated by these brackets. And when you define a function, you have the begin and the end symbol. When you call a function, you just say printf or whatever your function is called with the brackets. And you can call a function multiple times. So this would call the function uh, five or six times. And there you go. Now, did you know you can create your own functions in C? So let's say we create a function hello. Then begin of a function and the end of a function. And functions can return something, but in this case, we don't want to return nothing. So we say void. So now we have a function that we can call. So we say hello. And it's an empty function. So it goes here, it calls the function, it goes here, it does nothing, and it goes back to the next line, uh, in which it calls it again, goes ag here again, and does nothing again, and then goes to this line. So if you run this code, it will call the function twice, but the function doesn't do anything. So for example, we can say printf hello world inside the function. And now you'll see the function is called twice and it outputs hello world twice. So it goes here, goes to the function, outputs hello world, goes to the next line and say, hey, go back to the function, output it, and it goes to line 10. And so that's why it outputs it twice. Um, so this is how you call a function. So the function name, the parenthesis, and the semicolon. Now, you can call a function as many times as you want. So now it will call the function uh, more than once. You see it repeats that code, that function call many times. Um, you can have different functions. So let's create a function uh, cookie. Whatever you output or do in the function. And then you can call that function. So there's no specific order in which you have to call a function. So now we have a program that has two functions, or actually three. There's a main function as well and it jumps to those functions. So you'll see first it goes to the hello function, outputs hello world, it goes to line 13, it goes to the cookie function, outputs the text for the cookie function, goes to line 14, it goes to line seven, the hello function, outputs that, then it goes to line 15, cookie function, outputs that again, and finally, the final line and say, hey, I need to go to the cookie function again, output it. And that's why you see uh, the different text output here. So if I were to output only cookie, you see it only jumps to the cookie function each time. And every time the function is finished, it just goes to the next line. So it goes line seven or sorry, line three, and then it goes to line three again, line three, line three, line three. So when, they, when you have a different order, um, you'll see my editor also highlights it. So you see it goes to the hello function on line seven, then to the function on line three, the function on line seven, the function on line three, and the function on line seven again. So that's how you can use functions. Um, functions can take a parameter. So for example, it can take um, a number. So we create a function, um, let's call it number, which takes a variable or a parameter a, let's say it's an integer. And then you can say output a. And just like in the previous lecture, it doesn't know what is the type of a? So it's an integer. And now we can say number with any value, for example, five. And it will say output number five. So it goes to the number function and uses as a variable five, does the code, and then goes to the next line and continues. So you can call the parameter with any value. 
you can say number six number whatever you want and it will um, run the code and will jump to the number function with that number and do whatever you write between these brackets um, now you can also do a certain calculation for example let's create a function add int a and parameter b then you can say a plus b is a plus b and don't forget the new line so now we can call the function add with two variables 5 and say 5 when you run it it adds a and b so it takes 5 here and 5 here and then say a plus b is 5 plus 5 is 10 so whatever parameters you want here and you'll see it calls the function a with those parameters now a function can be called many times with any values so whatever parameters you want and it will run run the calculation so it will call the function add each time with different values for a and b now uh, you can also save a value so let's say you want to to call the function add with one and three but you want to store that into a variable x so variable x should have the value of a and b now in this way uh, it doesn't store that output into x because we only output it here and once it's finished the function it just goes to the next line so x doesn't store the value if you want to store the value you need to type return and then uh, we want to return the a plus b and instead of void use whatever you want to return so the type integer and now it will store value of a and b so 1 and 3 into x so when you run it you'll see uh, a plus b is 4 and it stores that into x so x now contains uh, a and b so we can remove this line it just returns a and b and that's stored into x you can say x is x if you run it you'll see x now contains uh, a plus b 1 plus 3 so x is 4 so that's basic functions so these are all functions we have five functions in our code uh, the begin and end of a function functions can take one or more parameters now a parameter is not required but it can take one or more parameters um, and you either do all of the code in a function or you can uh, return the output of your calculations and store it into a new variable